Hello everyone, welcome to another YouTube video. Unfortunately, uh, not the best visuals in this video because of course copyright is a big problem when it comes to music and images. So there's your little pre-warning. Uh, but yes, indeed today I am ranking another James Bond video and another ranking James Bond video. Which I haven't done in a while. And that is uh, another thing I'll be ranking. I've done the villains, I've done the films. Now it's time for the theme music. Uh, another one that of course many Bond fans have their opinions on theme music. Uh, so yeah, let's just jump straight in to the theme music. Uh, of course, I'm just going to specify this is the main theme music for the film, of course, seen in the pre, uh, what, the title sequence. So you know, um, surrender, uh, mango tree, and um, of course, um, Louis Armstrong with his all the time in the world. Will of course not be ranked because they were not the main theme. So let's just jump straight into the video. Of course, up here I will put uh, the film and straight up in number 25 we have License to Kill. Um, oh yes, and by the way, I'm not ranking these again in terms of music, just about how well they represent the film more than actually, of course, orchestral musical talent. But yes, in number 25, we have uh, Do That Again, License to Kill. Um, never really liked the song, really doesn't reflect too much on Bond. I mean, License to Kill, it's quite a dramatic title and quite a dramatic and dark film. The song doesn't quite represent that. In 24 with For Your Eyes Only, um, kind of an opposite problem with this one to the one I just mentioned. It sort of um, is um, still can be a bit too powerful for the film, which in my opinion was quite forgettable anyway. So yeah, For Your Eyes Only, there's not much more to say about it. Uh, for number 23, we have Another Way to Die, of course, which was from Quantum of Solace. Um, uh, I don't think the dual um, uh, vocals work in it, I think just the one solo uh, female artist would be fired. I don't think we needed two. And again, it's quite dramatic for what the film actually was. In number 22 we have Moonraker. Um, uh, it is a nice song, Moonraker. It just again doesn't fit uh, the film. I mean, Moonraker, we should, you should be seeing space action. We should have thought even something like Star Wars to do the theme, but no, they just went for a, a very soft, good music that doesn't quite fit the film at all. In number 21, we have Live and Let Die. Again, this is a very, very good song. Um, I do like it, but it doesn't quite represent the film. Uh, there should be a bit more of a Caribbean style to it, of course, with Live and Let Die. And yeah, that definitely could have an opportunity you definitely missed. In number 20, we have A View to a Kill. Um, the thing that lets this song slightly down for me is the fact that they simply repeat, of course, it, don't they? They loop it again, Duran Duran loop it, rather than making it a bit more original, which of course that to me lets it down slightly. And at number 19 we have Diamonds Are Forever. Diamonds Are Forever definitely is of course, I mean, we're now moving up, now we're into the teens, we're not quite like the bottom, rock bottom, but again, you know me, I'm a Bond fan, I love all the James Bond, um, anything to do with James Bond. Again, even Lies to Kill, it's a really good song, it's just my least favourite, you know, I have to rank it critically, don't I? Yes, and at number 19 we have Diamonds Are Forever. Again, uh, I don't quite like the song, it isn't quite my style of music, I mean it's a very opinionated and based art play. In at number 18 we have Man with the Golden Gun. Um, it does represent the film well, could have been slightly more powerful, and I feel like possibly a male voice would have been better, but um, a female voice does still work. I mean, hey, females can still definitely be as dominant as men can be dominant, which is the main purpose of course for Man with the Golden Gun, so don't be sexist. What I am saying is that um, I just simply so many other James Bond themes from Zara rather than two on a secondary basis. The secondary theme is very good in the film, but again, this isn't a secondary theme, these are the main themes. In number 17, we have Nobody Does It Better from, of course, um, The Spy Who Loved Me. Um, I really, I don't know why, I just really feel like they should just use The Spy Who Loved Me in the lyrics. Of course, they didn't use that at all, they used Nobody Does It Better for the main chorus line. I feel like that really works so much better. And again, the main theme used at the end is best in the main in the, the theme they use at the end is better than the main theme. Sorry, audio dark than the male theme. So that's why, of course, I don't think no, uh, no, does it better. Could, it's quite a middling, middling James Bond song. In number sixteen, we have No Time to Die. Um, again, pretty early to rank this, considering the film just uh, of course in the newest film. But I'm gonna rank it anyway. Uh, no Time to Die. I haven't listened to this song too much apart from the film and a couple of times on Spotify. Uh, Billy Irish is definitely a good choice for the song. It's just, it, to me, it feels too modern uh, to be a James Bond song, but hey, I don't really like modern music, hence the, the ranking that you'll see yet to come. In number 15, we have Golden Eye, of course, performed by uh, the legendary and, of course, unfortunately, rest in peace, Tina Turner. 
Again, this was quite a good song, but I feel like it should have had a slight more Cold War-y Soviet Union type theme, because it doesn't quite uh, overlap with the images portrayed in the film. In number 14, we have The Only Live Twice. Again, uh, before I went to Mark Church, should have had a slight to pad. Um, well, again, if we did have the sort of East Asian Far East theme, like The Only Live Twice had from, they got that spot on. However, again, it could have been slightly more um, upbeat rather than soft and soothing. In number 13, we have Skyfall. Honestly, I'm not quite sure why this song gets so much attention. I understand that Del is a good singer, but I don't know, I just don't, honestly, for the life of me, I can't quite rank this song up higher than 13. I mean, possibly agreeing with the top 10, but no, I'm happy to keep it in the number 13 spot. In number 12, we have All Time My Octopussy. In my opinion, quite an underrated James Bond theme, and of course, it's from my favorite James Bond film. So that, maybe that's why I ranked up listening to that number the top end, like I have, uh, of course, 12, just sleep, sleep, sleeping over that halfway mark. Uh, yeah, it's a good song, but again, there are definitely others I would rather listen to. In number 11, we have Riding on the Wolf and Spectre. This is an absolutely great vocal piece performed by, of course, Sam Smith. It is a very, very good, very, very powerful, has a long and drawn-up song, almost five minutes long. It works incredibly well for the Spectre film. Gary, James Bond, Blowfoot, playing back, the Aston Martin, it all works brilliantly. Um, but I feel like it is slightly too slow paced and could have been a bit faster. In at number 10, we have, of course, the classic, the original Doctor No theme. You can't go wrong with it. There's a classic James Bond title sequence, no one needs to be said. Number 10 spot. A few more lyrics in there could have easily hit number one. In at number 9, we have uh, You Know My Name from Casino Royale. Bit of an unpopular opinion of mine, of course, many people rank this theme even at number one. I'm ranking it number nine. Um, it is very, very powerful, which is good. Very, very good lyrics, also a big thumbs up. However, I don't, I'm not, the sort of, um, again, the image portrayed is of course a casino card theme, which does work with the plot. However, uh, the images are a bit too sort of comical, car smashing, not enough sort of blood like James Bond would have. In number eight, we have Die Another Day before My Madonna. I really, really like this song. I don't know why the song gets so much hate. I think it's pretty good. And again, it links back, of course, so you see the shots of diamonds and scorpion. There, of course, James Bond being interrogated in South Korea. Like, of course, it was in the film uh, it was based around. In number seven, we had Goldfinger. I really, really do like this song. I just feel like it's slightly let down from, of course, the two uh, films before it. And I have to rank this, of course, probably our main theme for the film. James Bond film, so that's why I'm ranking at number seven. In number six, we have, of course, a very, very good and classic On a Magic Secret Service theme uh, service performed by John Barry and his orchestra. Why do you need all those lyrics when you've got John Barry and his orchestra? This is brilliant, absolutely fantastic, works incredibly well. It gets stuck in your head, you sing along to it, James Bond, you know, George Lane, me skiing down the mountains, it all works very, very nicely. In at number five, top five now, we have, in number five, we have The Living Daylights. I really do like this song. I think it works so well. I keep playing it a lot. I, the only thing stopping it going higher is I don't think the images quite portray onto the film. James Bond film is a bit random, the images. Um, but yeah, it does still. It's a great song. At number four, just missing out of the top three spot, we have a Thunderball. I mean, Thunderball, you can see it there. And of course, right there, which you just saw anyway. Um, Thunderball, uh, 1965, it's a great, great theme song. It works really, really well. However, um, the long, uh, you know, sound at the end, I think it's a bit too kind of dissonant on the ear and could have been uh, cut off sooner. In number three, walking away with the bronze medal for my James Bond rankings, that is From Russia With Love. It is an absolutely fantastic main theme. At the end, of course, James Bond in there, just after beating Rosa Claire with, of course, poison, stabbing shoe. Of course, on the boat, kissing the Bond girl off into the sunset with the, in Venice with the boat. Works incredibly nicely. I think it's a great song. In number two, walking away with the silver medal, we have The World Is Not Enough. I mean, it's got James Bond's family motto in it. What more than be there? It is a great, great song. The World Is Not Enough. However, in at number one, um, for my gold medal, my all-time favourite James Bond theme song, at least released so far, is Tomorrow Never Dies. I absolutely love this theme song. I always put it in my spot if I play it into it. Probably best part of four or five times a week. I love the song. It reflects well James Bond, Pierce Boston as a character, as the James Bond film, as all the other double O agents in it that works. 
and of course the sort of again uh, Chinese British rivalry also respected much in the film and in the main theme song. So yes everyone, thank you so much for watching. I uh, kept it quite brief, but hey, we kept it all in 10 minutes. So that was very, very nice. If you want to see more James Bond uh, uh, theme videos coming up, I think you can see I've got my DVDs, my Funko Pops, my poster, my cars. Of course, it's all yet to come. And yeah, uh, please subscribe to the channel, this does help out a lot. So thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you on my next YouTube video. Goodbye.